Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your bonus messages. Let's see. What does the universe want you to know at this time? Anything you need to know about me will be down below. Thank you for those that have joined this channel. If you're new here, welcome. Let's see, what does the universe want you to know for Capricorn? What's the T? I'm a Capricorn North Node. Woo woo. We got abundance, windfall, give, celebration, promotion, opportunity, and successful ventures. Some of you could be starting your own business or need to change something up, promote yourself, could be getting a promotion at work. Multiple scenarios for Capricorn. Putting your best foot forward. A Capricorn any placement or this is someone you're dealing with I got release surrender emotional release clearing walking away could be moving could be done with something or someone could be releasing your experiences previously in your past like healing trauma from previous relationships failed jobs failed endeavors whatever this is it's good energy to be releasing it wow spirit say y'all got one car I'm gonna shuffle through it one time I started something new we're shuffling through the deck one time. Forgive me, I'm outside. This is how I multitask with my children being out of school. They go to the park. I record at the park. All right. But let's see. One card. Come on now. For Capricorn. I said I was going to shuffle through the deck one time. So you're like, no. Nah, you want to shuffle twice. <laughs> so we got South Node. That's what y'all releasing. Hopefully. It say comfort zone, resistance, fear of the new, clinging to all ways. It's funny I said Capricorn was my north node, which means I have to let go of everything that I used to be. And this is where you all may find yourself, or this is your person. Clinging to all ways, this could be someone stuck in their ways, stuck, stuck or accustomed to a certain partnership, like a karmic or a something like a job, afraid of change. I got lost, wounded, rejection. Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Not feeling enough. Missing someone left out in the cold. Mm, this feels like a partnership for some of you. It's time to release. It's, it's not enough. Or this is your person. In a relationship, at a job. Where it's simply not enough. Let's see. It's dull. For Capricorn. Family. It's a relationship. They're married for some of you. For some of you foundation commitment home four wines marriage celebration security for some of you heavy on that security it's what they know it's all that they know it's how they started it's how they got their stability or their family wants a certain type of lifestyle for them or they have a family a child or two with this person so they stay what is you some of you, your family wants you to be with the person you have kids with. They have an idea life for you or ideal life for you. We will clarify with a tarot card. Hmm. For Capricorn, what else? Sideways. Karma. Balance. Justice. Weighing things out. Cause and effect. Choices. Wants to make things right, but they haven't done so with it coming out as a challenge. Or oh, this is you. They need to get a divorce for some of you following marriage. They need a divorce. Libra energy or oh, this you. Or oh, they need to divorce their past. Release. What else? Fears and illusions. Limitations. Anxiety. Comfort zone. Oof. Comfort zone is here twice. And that is it. 5D dream messages, telepathy, spirit guides, astro travel signs, and synchronicities energy. But I have comfort zone here. It's why I have it here and I have it there. Which lets me know it's giving accustomed to. I don't like it. But we're going to see. What does it matter if I like it or not, right? As y'all read. Well, let me see. I ain't going to go off. I promise. <laughs> we gonna see the I hate energy where people stuck and I have I have begun to say the word hate so fluently now because if I don't like it I don't like it I'll adjust it I'll change my words later but it's annoying 
stuck energy irritates me for capricorn's bonus read who is this and what is this and why y'all getting this message be mindful now when these messages come out it's a wee -woo, wee -woo alert system gemini with the lovers okay maybe it's time to make a decision between a soulmate and a karmic or a twin and a karmic let's see or a karmic and a or a soulmate and a twin be like that you got two good options Oof. what's released king of wands all right now we got a male here that's in his player days for some of you that's what i'm clarifying release the king of wands is a it's a great energy but the card is clarifying not so much okay could be a twin flame i read the king and queen of wands as twins on my channel mm. he could travel a lot for work or he's just coming at you very fiery for a lot of you or this you some of you giving up on a twin damn some of you giving up on endeavors your own business what else for release for capricorn queen of swords Ooh, they're not even a match of course you need to release that some of you women need boundaries some of you men are giving up on the energy that's non-affectionate or because someone came at you talking about you, that, yeah. I just taste beer. I don't really drink beer. I can't tell you the last time I drank that beer. Might be one of my guides. Anyways, that want a beer. Um, it's like a woman has come to you with boundaries and expectations. She may even be guarded. Yeah, because it's a third party for some of you. You're like, I have no choice but to release this for some of you men. Your mistress, your side chick. Or flip it and switch it. Sorry, my eyes will lock on birds, butterflies, all kind of shit. <laughs> I'm a nature sign, a nature girl. Um, because she has come at you with all these boundaries, expectations, ultimatums, you have decided to release it. Some of you women flip this because this is how they feel since you came at them like that. But some of you, there's a partnership. gonna try cancer energy with those chariots going by a partnership that is imbalanced it's no longer equal someone has no choice but to release it they're no longer on the same page this is you or your person again i'm clarifying release some of you women need boundaries with someone that's not given period fears nine of cups someone fears losing their wishes or that they will never get them just period nine of cups contentment pleasure satisfactory enjoy wishes being fulfilled someone has locked eyes on a particular person now with this illusion energy somebody's obsessed it's like you're the one for me like and that's it it's a little obsession here for somebody but anyways i'm reading intuitively with these illusions the way this lady is kind of lost in the sauce there mm. some of you, you you have a negative outlook on something that is wish fulfillment for you never gonna get it never gonna get it yeah you feel like it's never gonna happen and it may be due to the way that it's showing up now i just did a members only reading this about letting the shit be so they can heal because the title was it's not you it's their experiences it's their previous experiences it ain't you for some of you is it isn't you they're dealing with someone they fucking need to let go or this is you let me say that again because i feel that it's so heavy and i have experience with a few clients connected to capricorn the new person the soulmate the twin flame ain't did shit wrong this motherfucker has the inability to release their past. Which is next? I got them switched. Which is which is something they need to let go of? For a lot of you. They can't let it go. Family, friends gonna judge them. They got a family with this person. So their family and friends will judge them. Or they got a family with this person. Or they just scared to leave their comfort zone. Or this you. For some of you, they're cheating. With you or on you. They want all of it. They want you as their happiness or you want someone as your happiness. And they don't want to release a baby mama or a baby's daddy. Not entirely. 
maybe it's giving something maybe they know if shit fails with you they can always have the comfort zone well what south know his father pinnacles was somewhere else but <laughs> we gonna let it ride I know that karma was last. This is exactly how it was. Yeah, because this, this karma came out after family. Got it. South note. I like to read the way it come out. Will of Fortune. It's time for the cycle to close. And it's in there. It's funny. This is a birth chart. The Will of Fortune is a birth chart. For me. But South note is part of your birth chart. It's time for this cycle to, to close, to change. They ain't doing it. So they, what they gonna do? Repeat? Repeat life? This is crazy. It's getting redundant. Repetitive cycles. The wheel keeps turning. Fate. Fate. So the fate was they met this person. The lesson is still being learned. They ain't, okay, this you or your person. They have not closed the cycle out with their past. For some of you, they closed the door on that person. They need to go on and continue to move forward in life. Will of fortune. Cycles. You learn through every experience, most of the time through partnerships. If they refuse to go into another partnership, they're staying stagnant. Yeah, that's the thing. Staying single blocks your experiences of truly truly getting to know who you are when you interact on a loving level love is the highest vibration so if you stunt your growth by refusing to interact with others you, you stunt your healing journey in my opinion because we learn through the people we interact with let me state that again this is my opinion if i say i'm never dating anyone else how will i know who i am when it comes to love how i like to be loved what love feels like how to give love how to interact with another human being that closely you have a vagina they have a penis you have a penis they have a vagina it's for something it's for it it's a puzzle piece you can't just say i you can but whatever, they don't get that deep. Um, too deep sometimes. I just feel like y'all have to continue on. The more boundaries you 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 have, the safer you are. You can be guarded towards the right, aka wrong energies, rather than being guarded towards the wrong, aka right and aka right energies. And what I mean by that, some of us are guarded towards people that mean us no harm, based on someone else that has. I just said this in another read um, where I said someone's heart is exposed to love. You'll be open towards toxicity because you feel like you ain't going to get hurt because you don't give a fuck. But when love shows up, you're like, uh, I ain't fucking with that. That's backwards. It's time for the cycle to change. South node. Lost. For Capricorn. Three of Pentacles and the Justice. It's a third party. And they, damn, I heard it. Justice is here twice. Karmic lesson some kind of contract a spiritual contract cause and effect weighing things out this came out sideways wants to make things right three of pentacles collaboration it's a contract it's a soul contract it's time for two people to come together but they refuse to let their past go because they feel like they're not good enough or that they'll lose a lot or they'll lose it all they're comfortable, comfort zone with what they have. It's established, they're used to it, they know it. You will be a brand new fresh start. They may lose some things, especially like a form of stability for some of you. Yeah, it's a gamble starting over for them. They know what that is, that's crazy. They know what this is, toxic and all. Except with you, it's like, damn, I really gotta start over. I really gotta try again. That's an issue. So for some of you, it's a third party. They not letting you go. And you need to you need to make sure you don't let it stay like that. Or they need to make sure it's about you. Or uh, they're not letting you go and they're not letting that person go. That's why it's a third party. For some of you, there's no one else. It's just you and them. And it's not going anywhere because they're not open. They're wounded. 
What's the heaviest energy here? For the justice. The magician. What do you want? What are your intentions? And stick and sticking to your intentions. Yeah. It's given Ten of Cups. It's given I want. I wanted this with you. We're gonna do this. We're gonna is they showing you along. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna have this, we're gonna have that. Those were the intentions of the magician creating something with you, manifesting some something with you. But it's not really showing up for you like that in the waking world. That's why I say wants to make things right. Making it right will be sticking to their word of their intentions with you. For some of you, there's like a, a vow, a promise. They said they was gonna be married. So they stick it to that. It could be quite stubborn on that as well, even though it's unhealthy. But you showed up. So they're not they're not they're not too admirable. I am talking a little shit. They're not too admirable if they're cheating. But some of your family is a major factor. It's like, what my family gonna think about me being with you? This I'm not the right person to come talking to about what other people think. I will cut your ass out because you have a solo journey you have a solo mission who gives a fuck i am me out loud every fucking where i go and i just made that public ain't shit about me that's going to be repressed because i came to this world to be me why play play with who for what so someone needs to reach you ain't gotta be as vocal vocal as angela but yeah Someone needs to reach the point where they can be themselves and make decisions for themselves and stick, stick to their word. They said they was going to do this with you, take you out, buy you stuff. Who cares about that superficial shit? Be with you, pick you, choose you. But you know, pick me as person, male or female. So they need to, they need to stand on a, stand on a, stand on a, uh, stay on a game about what they want with this connection and stand on business. So what happened right here? With this wounded energy the two of cups mutual it needs to be balanced cancer energy some of y'all dealing with a cancer all these chariots going by what's this two of cups with what happened y'all came together and that triggered something in them so now they feel like they're not good enough until they match you until they can match what you give into this connection as well if it ain't financial it's like I gotta be able to match what this person is giving. And because I can't match what this person is giving, I'm I'm in two worlds or three worlds. People are players. I'm over here and I'm over there. I should let this person go because they really want a lot with me. Yeah. It's like they can't give you what you're giving. You're all in. They like, I'm not all in, so I gotta let you go. Or I gotta let this birdie fly. What's this two of cups? Ten of, they married for some of you for some of you this is a fucking spiritual inheritance y'all are meant to be with this person it's kind of getting upset virgo energy family too they have a family what's the ten of pentacles i'm gonna dig in what's the ten of pentacles so my question was what happened with their intentions the two of cups and the ten of pentacles what's the ten of pentacles the knight of swords moving too fast They travel a lot. They don't want to make an impulsive decision. They don't want to make an impulsive decision. They got to become more assertive, though, for sure. Ten of Pentacles, not a, so they need to be clear, for sure. With this Mercury of the Magician, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. One more. Two more. The two of... That's the whole read, really. This is the whole read right here. And these two cards. The path they take, they're confused about. The path they will take, they're confused about. They're, it's an illusion. And they're juggling you and another for some of you. Or they're going back and forth on this decision. This is the whole read. They go back and forth or they're confused about which way this connection is going. Or this is you. It's a lack of direction. It's giving magician. What do you want? Nine of wands. I'm tired of this up and down energy. I'm tired of this coming and going. I'm tired of this back and forth. I'm tired of you having bad days with the person you cheating on with me. <laughs> I'm tired of you coming to me, cheating on whoever you're with, with me. Where is this going? <laughs> For somebody. I'm all in somebody's conversation. Why you keep coming back around if you don't want shit? Queen of Swords to this King of Wands. 
Or some of you men are like, listen, boo, if you ain't got no feelings for me, what's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm. There could be somebody in the astral realm uh, projecting illusions over this person's mind, too, for some of you. Making them feel depleted, defeated. That's a possibility for someone as well. That requires a personal reader. Ain't nobody getting into that on a collective Nah, I'm going to state it. It's a possibility someone's painting illusions over someone's mind, making them confused about what you want in an astro, what, about what they want. Or they playing with you, too. They playing with your mind, too. Yeah. I said what happened with the magician, the two of cups. This could be a partner of theirs doing spells on them and you to create a disarray. That's for somebody. Absolutely. Family. There go my confirmation. There you go. I be trying to avoid the spell, the spell work spirit. Like, there you go. That's funny. Family. That's for somebody. King of Cups. Yeah, they got a they got a baby daddy or some somewhere for some of y'all. Some of y'all's baby daddy is in the mix. There's two men here. One of them is a warlock. King of Wands. That's a possibility now. I can read these cards. You seen it in the intro. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the judgment, the death to the ten of cubs. It's somebody they had a family with. They ex keep popping back up spiritually, or they ain't never left at home with this person, but they keep cheating on them. I'm going back and forth with them and you. Listen, here go here go a few scenarios. Someone's married, they're cheating on their wife with you. Someone's married, they're cheating on their husband with you. Okay. Someone's married or cheating on their person with you. Let me say it like that. Someone has a baby daddy, baby mama situation. They ain't truly cut ties, but they trying to move on with you. That person's either doing spiritual shit or they keep popping up being narcissistic trying to control their life. Some of you, someone's completely single. They need to heal. That's why they act funny with you. Period. Okay. Some of you, they feel like the, com the most compassionate diplomatic thing to do is to be with the person they already built a family with. King of Cups, compassion to this family. And they married for some of you. It ain't that you're not good enough, even though you may feel like it. It's that they already started some shit and they want to finish it. Karma wants to make things right. Four of Cups. They don't know what to do. It's like a lose-lose situation. I see this person's mind. It's like a lose-lose situation. Either I keep my family or keep what I started and push this person away. Or I do the right thing and pick this person and my happiness. But then I done broke my whole family up. They don't know what to do. Somebody's dealing with something. Okay, Spirit said, give y'all another scenario for whoever not doing anything with a married person or a person that has a baby mama, baby daddy. Let me see. Help me, Spirit. Cancer energy. What's another scenario? For the non-married people. Sun. Sideways. And a three of swords. Leo energy. So. Cancer Leo. Cuss here. So for some of you. It's something about healing. It's like. What I said. They're single. They're just unhealed. So the right thing to do is. It, they could be codependent they want you in their life but not all the way like they're not ready for a commitment but you are so for those that are not dealing with someone that's married or dealing with a baby mama or baby's father you're dealing with a single person they're just not ready yet they're hurting from something before for some of you someone's projecting depression sun to the sideways you know, position Four of cups sideways position, three of swords unhealed, uh, betrayal energy, heart, uh, what's that, love spell manipulation. A love spell can work many ways. Someone's playing with someone's emotions, the, with all of this depression, four of cups and the sun sideways. It's mental projections, emotional projections. They're projecting words of affirmation, but bullshit affirmations over someone which causes them to have a hard time expressing their love for you what's 5d at the bottom of the deck for capricorn the ten of swords and the empress so either this damn who hexed the empress some of y'all dreamed of a hex some of y'all dreamed of an abortion or a loss of a child there's a wife here that's 
projecting over someone's mental when she sleep nightmares for some of you there is a situation where you're being guided on how to heal this person through spirit and your dreams and telepathy some of you are being made known made aware of what's happening to this person and as their empress, it's your job to step in spiritually. Or some of you men are seeing this empress in a new light, in a, in a different way. But you're having a hard time fathoming where to put your hurt. Or where to put your trauma. What's this ten of swords? Gemini energy. It's something going on here with betrayal and trauma. What's this ten of swords? The lovers gemini again Ooh, i'm tapped in it's something about you're get you're getting it's telepathy and the judgment it's an awakening 5d it's this d this just got deep at the end of it okay so right here the ten of swords and the lovers but it's clarifying 5d telepathy spirit guides and stuff like that so this is going to be for somebody deeply spiritual you're receiving downloads and information in your dreams or just a download intuitively about what's happening to your twin or your soulmate. Whoever you are being guided to spring into action spiritually for their protection. Or you're being made aware that it's not you, it's them. Some of you are getting information about your other half and you need to either tell them or take action. What's the lovers? Some of you, there's a business partnership y'all supposed to be doing together. Change. Relocation, moving on, travel, communication. What's Empress? Toxicity, the devil, addictions, patterns, energy vampire, trauma bond, stuck. What's 5D? Capricorn energy. What's 5D sideways? Attracting, gratitude, abundance, positivity, tranquility success what's the ten of swords venus love offer mm. what's the ten of swords control somebody doing a love spell over somebody some of you have been getting guidance about what's going on some of you dreamed of someone being in the love spell i mean quite blunt i'm i'll talk to somebody specifically okay let me sum that up because that's getting irritating it's night do that say nightmares no, my other cards say nightmares. Anxiety, insomnia, shadow work, fear, regret, nine of swords, more Gemini energy, guilt, sabotage. Look at the nine of swords. One of the definitions is nightmares. And here I have toxicity coming out here with dreams, dream messages. Let me make that clear. So if this not resonating, this is for somebody specifically. I repeat, some of you are getting information about your other half in the dream state whatever you think is happening it's not truly them they're being projected over someone's playing with their mind when they're asleep or oh, this is happening to you you may even be sleeping with the enemy for some of you your twin flame is showing up in a 5d telling you what it truly is what's truly happening and it's not what you think not spell work it's just they're telling you what's going on in their life like the reason why y'all's connection is not moving forward now some of you if you can't remember your dreams one get you some goddamn amethyst to put in your scarf or something when you sleep or unblock your crown chakra you can do that with reiki you can do it with a candle or you can do it with not stressing the way you block your crown chakra is fucking stressing one of them or not making decisions or feeling stuck overthinking this energy that's on my table if you can't remember these dreams but yeah this y'all message the, the the message is it's not what you think it's not you it's them or it's you and you need to tell your person it's not them uh however it go but for a lot of you your person's caught in between two people that's the main message and if you don't feel like waiting around then move forward send them love and light send them words of aspira aspirations but keep it fucking pushing or they need to keep it pushing on you until you figure out what you want peace